What's going on guys? I'm up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. I got a 1965 Mustang Fastback. The beautiful green on it. I love this color. This car runs and drives awesome, but I'm going to do a little walk around, point out any kind of flaws on the outside right now. If you want to see the test drive, check it out. I'm going to link it to the end of this video. It's on my YouTube page. Just type in 1965 Mustang Maple Motors, four words, boom, you'll get the test drive video and the walk around. Of course, you're already watching this walk around, so. What I like to do is point out any kind of flaws, kind of like a little bit of pitting going on in this bumper. It's been on here a while, but it still looks pretty good. Up in the front here, we got some chips. See up under the front end there. See all the little bug chips and rocks from the road. There's also some chipping going on right here. Good thing about this paint job, it kind of hides most of that stuff. But on top up here, it looks pretty good. Really good shine to it. It's got a little 302 in here. Front disc brakes. There's no power steering on this car. But I'm telling you, it's a tight little driver. Like I said, I'll do. I'll point out any kind of flaws that I can find. We'll run down the side of this car. A lot of this trim's been replaced. It looks pretty good. Of course, the sun's not helping me today. This little mirror here looks pretty good. It's not all chipped up. The seal around the window's kind of dry rotted. Y'all can see that there. A little extra paint down here at the bottom. A little too much was put on there. Uh, we're missing a center cap on this back wheel. Tires are in great shape. There's some pitting going on in these uh, tail lights here. On top of them, the trim. There's a, actually a little crack right here in the paint. I don't know if I can get it to pop up because it's so reflective, but right there real small about an inch long we get to the other side maybe we get the sun on our side there's some chips around here where they're putting the gas cap on the gas cap itself is pitted it needs a new one really it's loose This back lower part is chipped up. The old chunk of paint missing right there. Exhaust tips look nice. Look down the side of that car, man. It's pretty straight. some defects on the glass there some pitting on this door handle here See on top of this door, there's a crack in the paint. See that line running down here? Some scratches right there. And also right there. Same with on up here. Same thing's happening.
pretty good on the lower sides of the car making our way back up here to the front that'd be buffed out right there looks like a little scuff wheels look pretty good I think they all got their center caps except for that one go ahead and pop the hood and I'll show you what we're working with here it's a little 302 very clean under here aluminum radiator to keep it cool very good upgrade there's no power steering on this car under the hoods nice and dark I think that's actually painted black up under the hood but it looks good they did a good job I like the way that looks very reflective if you keep it clean and uh, keep it waxed it'll look as good as the outside of the car I'm just gonna reach in the door here we're gonna pop the trunk that way I don't forget it making it a good habit when I start working on the inside here we'll go straight to the trunk We'll try the circle key. Ooh, the trunk's definitely got new weather stripping on it. Or fairly new. It was kind of stuck down there. I think our detail guy forgot to clean the trunk here. It's dusty. They must have took it to the buff shop before we bought it. We usually don't send anything out, so... We buy them, clean them, and move them on. The trunk's solid. Let's go ahead and pull this up. It's a rubber mat. Looks like a fairly new gas tank. Set of speakers back here. pretty good I might just send it back here to get him to wipe all this dust out of here but it's dust from the buffing shop all right we'll check out the inside here I'm gonna stick the keys back in the ignition there we go door panel looks like it's been replaced pretty nice weather stripping's pretty new on here look up under the door solid carpet's new a little bit of paint chipping going on right here seats look pretty good in this car you look up at the headliner it's in great shape that's a nice headliner seat folds down in the back Got your speakers back there We'll go ahead and start her up. I'll show you this dash. The dash looks great in this car. I think they did a good job. All the gauges work. It's showing uh, 3,857 miles on the gauge cluster. That's not what's on the car. That's what they put on since the gauge. They got an aftermarket radio. That's a new style. It's a digital style and it works. Windshield wipers work. The horn does not work. Um, let's go ahead and start her up. The e-brake works as well. You got to pull on it kind of hard to get get it to hold, but it works. So starts right up. That's without me touching the gas. I'm, my foot's on the brake right there. See, all of them are working. 
speedometer was accurate and working. And the gas gauge works. Wipers down here. They work good. Radio's on right now. It works. We'll cut it off. Blower motor works. It don't want to have AC, but it does have heat. So in the winter, you got your heat. Car sounds pretty good. The dash in it looks nice. It's not all beat up. A little bit sun faded, I guess. Probably put a little armor all on it. Make her look nice. Fairly new visors. Five speed shifter. It's always good for highway cruising. Probably run this car up to 80 or more. Always check that balancer. It's nice and smooth and straight. The motor's nice and quiet. Quick response there. That's a nice, smooth, good-looking motor. Well, this is going to conclude my walk around. I'm going to get back to the test drive, take her down the road, see if this pony can kick a tire over. I appreciate y'all watching. If you have any questions, you can give us a call, 615-822-4444. I'll be happy to help you out. We post cars like this every single day. And so you can check our website, maplemotors.com. I got a, about 80 cars in inventory. Check that out. I got 100 detailed pictures of every single car. And here on YouTube, I do test drives and walk arounds multiple times a day. So if you're new to the page, please subscribe. Maybe we can hook you up with an old classic. I appreciate y'all watching. Give us a call, 615-822-4444. Or visit my website, maplemotors.com. Thanks again, guys.